contraction. <laughs> um, I found what, a five, four or five. That's pretty tough. <laughs> When Clarice came in and, and checked me, I believe I was a four or a five, somewhere in there already. I'm having a contraction, so excuse me. <laughs> Heather always amazes me. She, she goes in and out of the tub to kind of manage the pain and to calm herself down so she doesn't get so excited. And she uh, definitely manages her pain well. I don't think it's gonna be long. Taking a little break from the tub right now. We have another contraction now. Okay. So they're gun, they're coming fast. They're weird. This one's a lot longer. They're very weird. It's like it gets get it gets off. to the peak and then it, it tapers off and then comes back. Right at the end, it's like, brown. <laughs> that makes me all hot. <laughs> That's why it's called labor. I should call Paulina. Tell her to get the kids. Hi, Paulina, how are you? Listen, I, I wanted to see if you could maybe get the kids ready, okay? Thank you so much. We gotta go, Grandpa's waiting for us, come on. <clears throat> Beautiful, you're ready? That's perfect. Okay, Dad. Come here. Here, here, here. There you go, handsome boy. I'm gonna check you, Heather, and then you can go in the tub. Oh, mm. excellent. You're seven. Seven centimeters. 100% effaced, and the head's nice and low. So we'll do the tub. After the tub, we'll break your water, and you'll have a baby. For me, the jacuzzi tub is my epidural. <laughs> I would much rather use that than have a needle in my back any day. Oh, that, that, that scares me more than pushing a child out. Oof, it just does. I can't, I can't do it. Mm -mm. This makes it all feel better. It really does. Heather is doing extremely well. And this is our fourth delivery together, so I'm very familiar with Heather's labor patterns and her overall demeanor in labor, and she's doing beautifully. I got the shakes. Yeah. yeah. This is called transition. <laughs> it's like so involuntary. I have the chills, I get hot, then I get cold. But this is exactly what it's like right before go time. Oh my goodness, look who's here. The kids actually came into the room with Paulina and my grandpa right as soon as they got to the hospital, which was cool. I wasn't expecting to see them until after the baby was born. But where is she going to be born? She'll be born before lunchtime. In the jacuzzi tub, the water was hot. I started to overheat. Okay, can you clear the kids out? Okay. I knew I had to get out. I didn't want to get out because I knew that I was going to be able to then feel the contractions a lot more, but I knew if I didn't get out, I might pass out. You're soaking wet. But I'm going to be a little more than soaking wet in a second, huh? <laughs> You're going to need to hide that. Just I, to I know. <laughs> You've done this before. <laughs> she knows. <gasps> like, I know. Wet, it's so cute. <sighs> what are you going to do when you see your sister? You're going to give her a hug and a kiss? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna break your water right now. It's done, the water's clear. And she's about eight, still 100, still at zero. Really hot. Fan me. I am starting to feel some pressure. Some rectal pressure, okay. yeah. When it gets that the whole contraction is pressure, we'll check you, okay? okay. That might, yeah, that? That's it? Okay. Right. So. Oh. You need me to keep fanning you? Yes, please. Go ahead, push. Uh, oh. Okay, she's fully. Okay, no more. Head. No more. Now I'm gonna have you cough for a minute. I'm gonna set you back up. Oh, almost. Okay. Okay. I don't do anything. Okay. I have don't to do push. Don't do anything yet. Right here, right here. Okay. 
Okay, now big push, pull your legs back. Let's okay. get the shoulders. One, two, Way back. Way back. This is going to help you see what you're doing. Good girl. We got it. Oh. Heather. Oh, she's okay. a big Heather. one. Heather, oh, reach good. down and reach pull your down. baby out. Oh, oh my gosh. Here she goes. Oh. There you go. Look at that. Oh Excellent. Oh. She's a big one. Oh, oh. oh sweetie. <laughs> So cool. Hi, baby. I was feeling awesome after birth. I mean, pulling her out, I think, just added to the excitement of the of the experience and being able to hold her right there. And she started breastfeeding right away. Come over here. You're going to be able to see her a little better. She's actually eating right now. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> It happened so quickly, I kind of was like, oh, it's over. But at the same time, we had the prize right there in, in my arms. One, two, three, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Oh. You just made my day. Since Penelope's been born, it's been pretty wonderful. The first couple of weeks, I was feeling awesome. Um, the kids were so excited to have a new baby sister in the house. Everyone was kind of all about the newness of the situation, and things were awesome. And there's big sister Eden holding Penelope. What do you think of her? Um, cute. Yeah, she is cute, isn't she? And about two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks after she was born, the the absolute bottom fell out. <laughs> and um, I wasn't handling it very well. Um, I think that I'm experiencing um, quite a few postpartum, uh, postpartum depression issues. For having such a easy delivery, maybe. I'm jo I, I joked that I'm going to re be receiving hate mail for how easy it was, but it's been pretty tough afterwards, so I don't know if that makes anyone feel better, but <laughs> we all have our, we all have our, um, our challenges when it comes to motherhood and, and all of that, and it has been very, very tough. The kids, they've been tough. They've been really tough. That's been adding to it because once the newness of the baby wore off, they were over it, you know? They kind of got over it and started fighting for attention. Can you do the great My goodness. And I just, I feel like there's not enough of me to go around. And I'm, I'm stretched as thin as I could possibly go. I'm not going to fight with you about pants. But guess what? I get to eat your dessert tonight. No. Oh, yes, I do. No, no, no. Uh-huh. You do not know. I just have to remind myself constantly to be patient. To be patient, you know? My first reaction is to just want to fly off the handle at every little thing. And it's not fair to them, because they're adjusting, too. What do we talk about? We have to stop the sassy behavior. I need your help. Mommy has Devin and Penelope to take care of. I can't be worried about fighting over what you're going to wear. Kind of just acknowledging, OK, I'm experiencing postpartum depression has kind of been almost a solution in itself. I'd rather try to handle it in a natural way. And whether that be, you know, calling a girlfriend and saying, you know, let's go get lunch. For me, music is also a big thing, so I've been playing music a lot to kind of keep spirits up and 
The kids actually, it calms them too. It makes them feel happy and we sing and we dance. Dun, 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 dun. Heather's uh, just grown stronger and more mature and as, as every child has come and taken on more responsibility is, is tough to do, just, but she handles it. You're doing a great job. What? We love you. At being a mother? Yes. <laughs> With all the stress that's happening, I do know that it's going to get better. It's crazy right now. It's really crazy right now. And some days are really bad. But there's also good days, too. And when I see the kids, you know, doing something sweet for one another, those are the things that we want to focus on, not the hard days. We'll let those go by. Come on, Daddy. Walk like a giant. Boom, boom, boom. Boom.